In this video, we'll be showing you how to forward a client's IP address to your web server using the Nginx reverse proxy. Our top terminal is SSH'd into our web server, and our bottom terminal is uh, just a client that we can use to connect to our web server. So let's test it out uh, by getting our web server's IP address. So the web server's IP address is here and we will just try to curl it. And you'll see our web server echoes out the headers that it receives. Um, and you, you'll see that we got an HTTP request to host this, which you can see is here, which is what we requested. And we are using the user agent of curl um, version 7.68. So the first thing we will want to do is start passing uh, specific headers from Nginx to our web server, which will contain the routing information, including the client's IP address. And to do that, we will want to uh, modify Nginx's default config, which is what we're using, which is located at etc Nginx sites enabled default. The section we'll look to modify is server location. Here we are proxy passing to our web server, um, which is hosted on the local machine at port 8080. So the configs that we want to set is the proxy set x real IP remote address. So x dash real dash IP is kind of the standard for passing remote addresses. Um, this could really be anything. The important section here is that the Nginx variable uh, dollar size remote adder is being set as Nginx will set that to the client IP address. The next one you'll want to set in your config, which is common for most web servers, is the x forward four um, header, and you'll want to use the nginx variable proxy add x forward four. So what this does is nginx will receive this header and then append its own IP address to it. And by doing so, you get a full list of every proxy server that the request has gone through to get to your web server. Um, in our cases, in our case, this will just be one, but depending on your, your setup, this might be uh, one or many. So once we have those enabled into our location and proxy pass headers, we can just go ahead and save our config and um, reload the Nginx service so that the config takes place. All right, with that in place, we can go ahead and curl our web server again to see which headers we get back. And sure enough, we're getting back our host, which was the same, which is what we actually accessed. But now we're getting the X real IP, which is the IP address of our client, and X44, which contains one IP address, which is just the IP of our client here. Um, and then this all stays the same curl with the same version. We can verify that this is our IP address by checking our client IP here. So we're going to be looking for uh, 137.184.39.95. And that should be connected to Ethernet 0. And sure enough, here it is, um, .95. So just that easy to pass along the IP address of the client to your web server using Nginx is uh, header passes.